Okay, since we are start, I'm just coming to new project. I'm going to do something totally conceptual today for you. I'm try to do it step by step. Do you, uh, if you remember, we just go to browse and find the English, of course, according to your language, but default metric. Some ones do you ask what, why we choose default metric? If I'm choose construction or if I'm choose plumping or a structure or a residential green, some of my feature will be limited. So I don't want to be limit myself. So I choose default metric included everything, all inclusive here. So I'm just choose it here. Tick OK and then hit OK once more. We are trying to make something conceptual totally different today. Uh, something that you will at least see how Revit could be work. Okay, here we are. As I told you, the first thing first, you need to get rid of the ceiling level. We don't use ceiling. In a Revit, we have a three different plan. Floor plan, ceiling plan under it, and in between a structure, like the real building. So, since we don't want to be confused between them, just at the beginning, get rid of the ceiling. We don't want to use ceiling. Of course, if you want later to set up some lighting element, docked, for sure, you need to have a ceiling level. But right now, we are just doing something conceptual. You don't need. So first, get rid of it. And then, UN. You need to just write from your keyboard, UN. The first thing first, change the length to the centimeter, since your architecture is very important. Of course, other proportion or occupation can do something else. Hit OK. And let's go to one of these elevations. It doesn't matter any of them. Now my first floor is 400 centimeter. I can keep it or I can change it. It doesn't matter. Maybe I can change it to, let's say, 320. It could be. It is up to us. But I want to add two or three more levels. How I am going to do the quick way is LL from the keyboard or the other verb from architecture level. As you can see, the shortcut is LL. While you start to draw, please and please do not start from center. Okay, I'm just give some distance 320 again, which is fix my then I'm start from center. I want to show you what's the difference between center or not. By the way, I need to add some adjustment. Before you start to draw, you need to fix the plan view type. Get rid of ceiling, get rid of structure, just floor. And now I'm coming here and say 320. A start from just middle and uh, it is actually disappear once more. I'm going to do it. Okay, this is fine. 320. Start from here up to here. So, as you can see, this part now greeted with this part. If I am just move, all together move. All three. However, if I am just move this part, this is work separately with this. So it is better to fix this one with other. Now it is not fixed. Right now it is fixed and align with other. And now I am able to take all together. So now I have three level. I need one more level at down. Let's say this one, I choose a short method, LL, and I use pick line. This is a short method. I use pick line and offset. Let's say I want to have 100 centimeter or one meter down like this. So now this one coming to down, but as you can see, level four, for sure, mathematically, it is lower than level one, but in here, in the approach browser, it is on top because it's arranged here based on the alphabetic number. So I need to just change this one to level zero or 
I can do it to yes here I can say level 0 that's all so if you want to add a structural element you can of course uh, add it from here so this is uh, how I add uh, things now let's um, just go and move to level 1 I want to draw something quick for you to check how we are able to draw in a level 1 I just say WA or wall this is WA or wall so I will say that the height is until from level 1 we start until level 2 so I'm just change my wall tip I'm going to use a concrete this is just a form I'm just try to draw something different I will say that's something about <coughs> let's say something about 1700 in this direction maybe I can go down somewhere about 500 which is 5 meter for sure you can do what you wish I can just since the chain is also connect all this wall work as a chain by the way there is a wall center line location this is defined uh, with as you can see right now it is show the center line of the wall so it means that I'm draw from the center let's make a 300 also there there we are and I will add something about 500 over here and I want to add something also here this is just as I told you for sake of practice and I will keep this one as an element as a sum element okay let's leave it up to now I can just keep it up to now and I am in define my entrance I want to have something like uh, let's also draw something about let's go until here actually I'm just thinking how I can make let's go to 3d view look at how 3d view at this moment look like if I'm just make it as a realistic or constant wall you will see that the detail is visible at this moment I can go to level 1 and add something uh, really different I will say that go to the here and just try to have some a split maybe somewhere like like here could be fine and another split maybe somewhere here so I just add some split I will get rid of this part just delete and then I will draw a new wall and I try to choose the let's say a curtain wall I'm going to have a curtain wall from here to there so I can increase my detail to medium to see what is my things look like now it is fine let's change back to the 3d view so this is my curtain wall at this moment of course the height of it now more than enough it is it seems that more than level 2 but let me check this is ha huh, okay this should be correct we can align them actually we are able to align and choose align and set align to this line this wall this wall oh sorry I need to just go back and align in a no more I choose this one align this one align when you choose try to have a tab to correct the right place otherwise uh, you will face with problem so you need to tap and then choose it you see it is aligned to the top of course this one it is also aligned now I have something like this element so this is what up to now I have so I'm going to add some floor right over there and improve my drawing of course I am able to change my uh, let's say curtain wall to the external glazing something like this so if I'm going to edit 
I can add some uh, vertical mullions to the project. So for vertical mullions, I can use a fixed distance for here also. Fixed distance with uh, vertical mullions, I can add something here. For a uh, horizontal mullions, I can add also this one. For this one, for my mullions, I will say something about 50 my mullions, and this one should be something about let's say not 400. It is too much. My it is 320. I can say that something like let's say 40 or 20. Let's apply to see how my mullions look like. So. As you can see now, my mullions totally change. Uh, it seems that too much actually. Maybe I can say that this could be a. It could be something like a hundred. Let's try actually hundred or maybe that one is better. Hundred. Twenty is too much. There are too much squeezing. Yeah, it is better now. And fifty maybe could be something about. Let's keep it 50. 50 is not bad actually. So, this is how my mullions add, and these are mullions as you can see. Here, I don't want to have this thing, so you need to divide 320 to the 3 to find a better dimension. So, this is up to now. Now, let's go to the level 2. I want to actually let's keep it still in level 1. In level 1, we have some detail. You see, the wall detail is visible at this moment the concrete and these mullions right now here i'm going to add some interior wall i just say wa and change to wall instead of curtain wall i'm just throw something like a normal generic wall for my interior space i will going to keep from here i don't want to change the access i will start from here I can go something about 230 and then come down up to here. This is my new ball. So I can align from here, align this one to this one. So this become aligned accordingly to here. So let's have some other space. I want to keep this one as my entrance. This would be my entrance, and uh, I'm going to draw this one. Maybe I could say from here, 180. I will add some wall, something about... I don't want to make it too much long corridor. It could be 400, fine. Actually, it is too much. Anyway, I'm just going to align it, this line with this one. Yeah, this is now too much better. For 400, I can have some opening for sure. I'm going to the split again SL. I can have some hundred and then some, let's say one and four hundred over there. I will go get rid of this one. I will have some opening exactly right there. I can change this one again to the uh, concrete wall like this okay it has become a bit thick and I can just uh, slice my wall right from here and just get rid of this part to define my entrance now my entrance become too much visible let's also measure this distance from somewhere here, I want to check the distance up to here. Yeah, it's not bad. It is 195. Maybe I can change it to the. Yeah, it is fine actually. Let's just keep it as it is. So let's see what up to now what we done. This is what we do up to now. I just add such a thing. Again, I'm going to level one. This is my level one. I will add some uh, structure, some uh, function here. I'm again go to wall, 
and start to draw a new wall again generic wall I will continue from the center of the wall I'm coming up to here and then I will connect to this right now and then uh, I have this corridor I have this function right now and this is what we have let's now jump to level 2 but before go let's see what we done up to now this is my entrance I am defined this entrance so after passing people can come to this guest room or they can go to my privacy area so these are the concrete wall these are the generic normal wall let's go on it up to now I try to just make this first floor right now I'm just go to the level 2 and I want to change my shape and create something new if I am able to enter yes as you can see this is my first level as a background so I just want to make something here and just go to architecture floor and start to draw the floor I can just use pick line I just pick this one I just pick this one this one this one this one and maybe I can just go until here but I want to have this one as well so then I'm going to use trim I will trim this one with that then I'm going to trim this one with this and and I'm just make one more pick line from here and then here I'm going to change this one like this and then hit OK let's see uh, it say do you want to attach I can attach or I cannot attach it doesn't matter I said don't attach so this is like this let's just just let's make edit this one actually to make it better I will say edit boundary and then just align uh, this line with this this is coming out and then say ok and then send don't attach and now let's go to 3d view and see what's happened up to moment so I just make this floor like this I have one gallery right here and then I have this entrance I am covered it with this one so I can have this entrance in this way now let's go also increase my floor like I'm going to select this floor some of them with this one and with this one so and then I will say that uh, the it is going up to the second floor actually let's go to the actually we are in 3d view right now when we just say this one we can increase the height of it it is based constellation the top one I will say that up to level 3 right now it is going to be until level 3 and then same thing I'm going to do for other let's press the shift and then try to turn uh, also I want to take this one if I'm able also to get the other one as well not this one yeah this one could be and this one plus the other one this one and then uh, I'm going to unconnect it to level 3 to continue my uh, level look like this for sure this also could be go I will say that this one also go up to level 3 and then my curtain wall or my glazing increase up to here now this is my second floor at this moment so this is my 3d view let's go to the level 2 to see what else I can add this is I can add some nice balcony in level 2 in fact which is coming and project to here this is my gallery I can add some uh, floor for sure and keep this area like something very nice over there for instance I can add some uh, not mullions maybe I can add some railing in front of this one I will say pick I will choose 
this one and this one but not up to here but therefore I need to split up to there and for sure up to somewhere here because I don't want those parts so I just choose this one I will say delete and then I will delete also this one and then go to 3d view to see what I add up to now so I have this railing at this moment right here which is uh, make us to not fall in this part so this is right now up to now it is going to be look like this so I can actually actually I'm going to edit my railing edit the path and then go to my level 2 I want to continue this one up to here actually it is not bad idea to have it up to here I will going to take pick line from here and then trim with this one going there so I'm going also split up to here because I don't want to go the railing inside my wall I will get rid of this one so this is right now going to be like this and just make it okay and now again go to 3d view so I have this railing which is coming to my building inside my building and if I can screw somewhere and turn around my object this is what look like at this moment so what else I can add I can go to level 3 in a level 3 I want to add the floor so right now level 3 when I'm in level 3 the behind or other level is not C so I need to change my base range to level 2 when I change the base range to level 2 I am able to see the top so now I can start to have some floor for a floor again I'm just choose a pick line from here uh, maybe I can make it a bit bigger to have something big actually maybe I can say that 100 meter go away like this one and like this one also 100 meter away 100 meter away and same thing for this part same thing for this part same thing for this part and also right here let's also change this one to here so now time to trim this one will be trimmed with this one this one I can trim it with this if for sure yeah and this one will be trimmed with this one now let's get rid of those elements and maybe I can add something else let's leave it at this moment I don't want to attach it of course you can attach it it doesn't matter this is now my roof at last floor for instance I add some roof in this place now let's make also first floor uh, level one I need to have something let's get rid of it this is for sake of measurement we don't need it to have any more let's also add some wall right here as a concrete wall of course concrete you can use it in a I'm just connected to here let's align also let's choose this one align this one with this one so it is going to be like this I can add some door right here then let's add some floor also here I'm going to add a floor again go to architecture floor plan I will say a pick line this one this one this one and maybe I said even this one then trim from here go to this from here go to this I want to make it entire uh, let's say plan this is up to here or let's just do something else also I want to add this little tiny wall also right here over there and then say trim from here to here let's see what could be the case this could be like this but I need to come from somewhere like here I can make some line maybe from here this could be go down 
up to here and then trim this one with this and this one also with this one so i have now this as my floor at very uh, ground floor so you see this is now my ground floor so let's add something to connect my building to here i just go to the level uh, zero which is here i will add some ramp for a ramp i will just choose the i could say a boundary actually it could be a fine maybe i can say that somewhere from here my ramp is a start and then end up to here this could be my ramp so if i'm just check my ramp the let's just okay at this moment just say continue let's see what is look like and okay we have some uh stair required no less than two boundary okay it is right actually we need to correct this one let's go to the let's just go to the level one once more and then just use the run and then i can just say from here to somewhere there in fact or it could be vice versa let's just make it vice versa because it could be a problem for us later so we don't want to have this problem so i just choose from here then i will say from here to there this is my ramp actually from here to there so i just make the width of it maybe i can increase the width to 200 something yeah which is too much width now or let's also even align this one with this one and this one with this one check what is could be done yeah my ramp now ready go to the quick view from 3d view so you see my ramp is not attached to the building so what i can do i can just go to the edit type and instead of this i can say one and then it is going to manage it my building in this way look at now it is going to be work in this way i have a nice ramp over there so it is coming here i go to the level one once more i need to have some uh, railing for railing i will choose from here to here because i want to have my railing also i don't want people fall down and i want also something from here to there that is fine and let's say okay and let's see what is the issue maybe i cannot have two different let's get rid of this one then say okay so that one make now let's do also this one right here i'm going to draw from here to there and then say okay yes here we are this is also work let's also change my ramp a bit I'm just going to edit a sketch I want to just align my main boundary with this one yeah this is too much prefer let's go to the 3d view and see what is the end result up to now I'm just waiting until program compile everything so this is what I made up to now there is a project which is going in this way turn we have some curtain wall we have this shading element over there and as you can see I can add some section let's move some section to see what could be my project I'm just go to level 2 or level 1 it doesn't matter let's go to level 2 this is the plan that I make I'm just make a section from here to here that's all now let's see the section uh, i'm going to check my section this is my section right now you see there is a ramp here there is a file here my floor is over there this is the roof how roof shape and 
everything it's easy I can just make it more realistic in this way I can also of course extend this thing to the out I just wait until the program respond automatically it is going to be make it yes here my program up to now let's take those thing a bit out of the program so this is what we done up to now and let's make once more in a 3d in a realistic view of course this is not a render completely but if i am just render it in a fully manner so there are many things could be shown in detail of course so this is uh, what we are planning to do for uh, today's section.